Hey lovely souls, how's it going? Welcome Pisces to this beautiful surprise reading I have for you. This is Gwen with Mystic Tumbleweeds and I'm here to do a surprise mini reading. Um, I've got my mini Line Strider Tarot deck here and I've already pre-shuffled it before I tuned in and um I'm going to find the death card in this little deck for you and give you some really beautiful intuitive insights um, that spirit has for you in relation to that card and your future. So thank you for joining me, Pisces. Um, I love Pisces. Pisces is my rising sign. So I usually connect with the readings super, super duper much. Um, so thanks for the likes, comments, shares. Remember to hit that thumbs up button. Remember to hit the bell if you want to be notified of new videos. Appreciate all of you so very much. Those who comment, those who interact, those who share. Our little channel's growing and I love it so much that I can get these messages out. Remember, that's, this is a general reading too, you know. And so take what resonates, throw the rest out. It's also timeless. So I trust that it's going to reach you when you need to hear the message in divine timing, okay? Regardless of date or time, it's going to resonate when you when it pops up, when you're drawn to watch it. So I can do a personal private reading where I tune in and find information uh, for you on the death card in your personal situation too. So just reach out to me. All of my information is in the box below. You can email me and they're very affordable, my readings. So the death card is nothing to be afraid of in a reading. It's very enlightening, actually. It can give us so much insight and um, guidance. So it is because it speaks about rebirth and transformation and, you know, resurrection and all that kind of thing. So I'm going to look. Give me a minute here while I look through the deck and see where your death card is, Pisces. Okay. I love the artwork in this deck. This is Line Strider Tarot by Ciolo Thompson. Comes in a large deck, too, and a mini deck. The mini deck didn't come with the book, which is fine because I really love interpreting the artwork. It's very abstract in nature, and I would rather do that than read this the typical tarot interpretation of it. Although I have been, I've been slowly learning the cards and, like, combining both, you know, my intuition and what the cards mean. Wow, where in the heck is the death card? I'm having to go through practically the whole deck. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. And by the way, um, when I was shuffling this little deck, um, the card that wa that popped out and actually landed on the floor was a four of pentacles before I see anything. And yeah, and now you got the five of pentacles here. So we almost threw on it. Yeah, you'd see? Yeah. The four of pentacles out again. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Rare you too much. You you were needing to see this four of pentacles. I'm gonna leave it out just it has something to say because that was weird. Yeah. My head's tingling right now. On the other side too, you've got the sun, which is awesome. Okay, so in very interesting where the death card is out where, where it is in the deck, okay, which is towards the beginning, toward the beginning of a lesson, the beginning of a new cycle, you know, that's what that signals too, okay? Beautiful, beautiful Pisces. Okay, let's see what we got. I'm going to show you the death card first. Ah, okay, makes sense. Okay, that's why this four of pentacles wanted to come out. I mean, the five of pentacles, four and five of pentacles, pretty much are the same kind of feeling. Um, yeah, let, first let me show you the death card. So this is a beautiful rendition of the death card with this skull that has, so you can see the silhouette of a knife or a blade through the skull there, you know, trapped in the ego mind. Um, and then, but you also see all this beautiful, bright, delicate colors and the blossoms coming from the skull and the little trees and the shrubs and whatnot, you know, it speaks to this beautiful transformation that comes from death, comes spiritual growth it speaks to um yeah and that the you know that, that you are blossoming that through the through the struggle that through the the less you know we learn lessons and our soul blossoms through this journey and carries much wisdom that's what this card speaks to i also see it as like a heart 
with a dagger, th- like the dagger through the heart, you know. Um, but even from that comes such beautiful, beautiful blossoms and growth, which is awesome. Okay, so the f- four, five of pentacles is what wanted to, this is what spirit wants you to let go of, this feeling, okay? This is, this is the past feeling. This is what was behind the death card, okay? And you can see this woman here. She has, she just looks like she is not sure. She is looking at something or someone and just not sure of anything. Mis distrust, not no belief in herself, no belief in the spiritual world, no not believing that she's connected to spirit, not believing in her abundance, doubt, lack. This is all the feeling that I feel in this card. Okay, the the, the light bulbs, the the light bulbs, the spotlights, these these globes all are lit up around the head, being trapped in the head in the snake brain. Okay, this is what you need to let go of. Okay, and I'm gonna go to my tarot bible. Open, just open right there. Swear to goodness, spirit. Okay, and I'm gonna read you everything that this what the typical tarot interpretation means. And I'm sure it's similar to what I just said, but I just want to make sure we're going to cover everything, all the feelings, all the emotions, all the energy that needed let go of. Okay, Pisces? Because you've had some healing. That's why the Four of Pentacles wanted to come out too. Like, look at all the blue wrapped around her. Okay. Speaks to emotional healing. Okay. Uh, the key words for this Five of Pentacles lack victim mentality, hardship, re rejection, spiritual separation, soul searching, emotionally wounded, unworthiness, feeling alone or excluded, neglecting your own needs, a sense that something is missing in your life, my darlings. Yeah, yeah. That's what that card is about. Let it go today. Let it go. Okay, that was a four of pentacles say, which is probably, I said, it's about the same kind of feeling. Um, well, okay, it's all about it's mine kind of a feeling, tight fisted with your money, small minded, penny pinching, mean, possessive, believing your way is the only way, it, limiting your viewpoint, controlling others with truth, with materialism, resisting change. You've been through this. That's why it wanted to pop out. You've seen the light with this. You don't want to be this anymore. Let that go and embrace. Seriously. Like I've done, you, you, I have this reading to do and then I have Aquarius to do. And um, so I've gone through all the signs with this type of reading. And I could say maybe in one other reading do a major arcana come out. Okay. So it's not common in these readings that I'm doing for it to come out. So this is very, very powerful that the Hierophant is here. Okay. And it speaks to this separateness that you feel that this, that you're alone in this, that you don't have a spiritual connection, that you feel small, that you feel unworthy, that you feel lack and spirit is urging you to reconnect again with your spirituality. Okay. The bear there behind there in the in the background, it speaks to, for me, it's connecting with Mother Earth, retreating and hibernating, but also to shamanism. It speaks loud and clear to me about that. And, you know, you hold the keys, okay? Whether or not, people may believe differently around you, but you your beliefs are right for you and it's time for you to start standing and connecting in them again. You will remember, okay? You will remember and you may have been brought up like where others' philosophies, other religious beliefs have been put upon you and you're waking up, you've been through some healing, it's, it ain't working out for you. It's making you feel separate and alone and unworthy and so... This is also a call from spirit to connect to somebody, a spiritual guru, a wise teacher, 
to help guide you in your future, okay? And the bear is, you know, is speaking loud and clear in this reading. So please look up the bear spirit. This is the, this is, I believe it's the brown bear spirit coming out here. But you can see all this pink and purple surrounding all of this too. It speaks to emotional healing and using your intuitive abilities again, okay? So, you know, if you are at this point, now is the time to embrace this magical spiritual connection that you have again and remember who you are and remember your powers and that we are all connected, you know, the animals and us and earth and the plants and everything, you know, and the stars. Okay, remember it again. This is what you should move forward in. Beautiful. Beautiful. I'm going to leave you with some messages, Pisces, uh, from your guides. Messages for Pisces to wrap up this reading about the death card and embracing the Hierophant energy and letting go of this feeling of lack from the Five of Pentacles and of unworthiness. They are worthy. You are worthy, Pisces, of abundance. Woo! Yeah, yeah. Okay. What beautiful, beautiful. It's a rainbow of color here, okay? Choose love over fear, darlings. Choose, get out of this fear mindset, babes. Okay. When you choose love, love conquers all. Love will shut fear the fuck up. That's all I gotta say, all right? So love you fiercely. Love the people who love you. You know what good energy feels like. You know what reciprocal energy is. All right. That's what you focus on. Focus on the positive. Focus on the love in your heart, the love that you feel. OK, understand your body. Your body is always showing you signs. OK, it communicates with you. This is a green card of a deep emotional heart healing. OK, grounding. I feel with this connect again with Mother Earth. Your body, you know, if you're aching on the sh in the shoulders and in the neck, and if your neck aches and your shoulders ache, your body's telling you that it's time to speak your truth. Take care of your throat chakra. Why do you feel this weight on your back? Let it go, you know. Your body talks to you, okay? And express your feelings. Don't keep them all locked up. That's when they get trapped up in the ego mind. Use your heart. Connect again with spirit. Connect again with your soul tribe. Reach out to those people who are spiritually minded, okay? They're there. They're your tribe. They're there for a reason right now at this time. It's okay to express your feelings. It's all right. Your, your beliefs are right for you, okay? And this is definitely a personal power card about the orange and the blue and the purple I see in it, okay? So take care of you. Embrace this new Hierophant energy. I love it for you, Pisces, okay? You've been through much healing. It's no time to feel this way anymore, okay? No time. For, no, no more time for that, okay? I love you so much. If this reading resonated with you today, please do comment below. I know it resonated with part of my soul, and I'm a Pisces rising. So um, thanks for being with me. I'll see you again, I'm sure, with another surprise reading. Love you guys.